Does your Performance LT1 need an adjustable timing pointer? We might have just the answer. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin again with Yerkit Racing. We're back in the shop again today. Um, if you didn't catch it on the last one, we made us an, a, a timing pointer for this LT1 build. And I wanted to take it to another level. Go ahead and produce it in CAD and have it 3D printed. Something a little bit nicer with some adjustment to it than what we could make here in the shop. We've got a few raw pieces. We gotta cut some threads and some things and get that going so we can put these pieces together. If you didn't see the last one I posted up here, go back and check that out first so you can see how we kind of mocked everything up and got the basic design for what we wanted. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you kind of what we got, what we have now, and where we're going with it. All right, guys, we got Autodesk Fusion 360 pulled up here. All right, so here's our first. As you can see, this is going to be our block adapters for remote mount water pump setup. This was actually the most difficult piece out of all of it. Um, even though the timing pointer, I made it completely from scratch. I tried to model this one off of the water pump gasket, but um, it was surprisingly hard because there was no point to pick up from on the gasket that was completely square with any other point. Everything was kind of asymmetrical and it just made it really difficult to get exact measurements on it. So kind of fingers crossed hoping this one's going to turn out right. Uh, and move to the next one. All right, so here we have the timing pointer, two piece bracket and the pointer itself. Basically this is the back of the bracket. This stand will go off to the distributor bolt, and then this one will be at the water pump bolt. It'll make it the same height as the idea there. Um, I actually matched the radius on this turn here to the ATI damper. So this one is an extra bracket that I made up. Um, basically, I just added the standoff portion here, and then uh, filled the area in between the two stands. Whenever I switch over to this remote mount water pump setup, this is the bracket that will go along with that so that I, you can run the timing pointer and block adapters and they have everything work out like it needs to. So kind of got a couple different options and that's where I want to go eventually is I'd like to try it on a Corvette. I'd also like to try it on some like Roadmasters or uh, Caprices, stuff of that nature. Uh, maybe Impala's different stuff um, just to see if we can make this thing work with some different platforms but for now F bodies for sure we should be in good shape and this is gonna be the first print that we're gonna do I don't really expect it to go a hundred percent the first time like I said this is the first time using CAD for me in a very long time um, I had a limited amount of exposure to it back years ago when I was at ITD Tech like I said it's just been a long time ago at this point so Hopefully everything will go smoothly. This one is the piece I'm most concerned about. I'm pretty sure I got the timing pointer built the way I want it with the right dimensions and everything. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to send these off to my buddy and get them processed and printed. And then I'll bring you guys back once I have them from him. All right, guys, I really hope you're enjoying the video. Just wanted to invite you over to Yerkit Racing Spread Shop where you can find all sorts of merchandise. You name it, it's probably in there. So go over, find you something you like, take a picture of it in action and send it to Yerkit underscore offroad at yahoo.com we could include some of these th pictures at the end of our videos and share it with the rest of the community every order you place on this site is greatly appreciated it really goes a long ways to making sure that we're able to continue to bring you content just like this all right guys so yeah i just took you in showed you the cad file how we did everything and then we sent it over to my buddy for him to put on the 3d printer it's the first look at the parts Coming back from that, I'm really pretty happy with the way everything turned out. So basically what we have here, we have two different brackets for this adjustable pointer. Then we have our two block adapters for remote mount water pump. Unfortunately with these, I got just a hair off somehow, as you can see on my bolt hole for that in the CAD file. So I don't know how it ended up stretching it in instead of out, but it was really hard to try to draft one off of that gasket. So anyway, fairly new to the CAD stuff, just playing with it a lot recently and you know we're gonna make some mistakes all right so this bracket is pretty much spot on and this is for the stock water pump housing can be used with either the stock water pump itself or an electric water pump because that uses the same houses on the lt1 this pointer will go up here and it's adjustable so it'll bolt in with quarter 20s i gotta drill and tap i got well not drill it i gotta tap those for allen heads and then those will sit down inside of the slide groove here so it should be a pretty nice little setup this one i wanted to make it where it would work with the remote mount water pump so the only thing different is on the back side 
the standoff area this one is obviously just one piece of round standoff and that one um, looks a little bit different there and that's because of the spacing on the housing for the water pump versus the block adapter so somehow or another when I moved over and, and added the extra extrusion off the back of this bracket this top hole here if you can see it I don't know they're pretty pretty close but I moved it up a hair somehow by mistake so I got to get them to redo this one I got to drop the hole back down to where that one is and that will be good so anyway that's where we're at for now this will work with our factory housing setup on the stock for the stock water pump I believe this will work with any LT1 that has the accessory drive on the passenger side I did, I'm not sure yet if it'll work on the stuff with the driver side accessory drive because I think that this bracket will just flip and I can just reverse the extrusion but I have to I need to have a car to be able to try to try you know try it out on and see how it comes out so so let's go ahead and tap the, these two holes for our quarter 20 bolts and we'll mount it back up and see and see how it looks on the block So went over to the bandsaw, cut off a quarter inch from this because it was sitting a little proud. That should put us back in there exactly where I want it to be. Yes, much tighter, much better. Looks like it fits pretty good. Got the adjustment right there with your two bolts and the slots. Uh, the water pump will sit back here behind this. That's to the proper depth. And yeah, like I said guys, I'm really happy with that. All right, guys, so this is the first run at the 3D print mock-up here. I feel like I'm a little tight on my gap at the bottom. Anyway, so I think I'm going to have to, like, go in the CAD file, cut the bracket in the middle right there, delete, like, a section of it, and then see if I can't move it from there um, and join it back together. Just to get a little more clearance on that, i got to do the spacing on the bolt holes just a little bit different. I, got, I missed it by a hair on that, too. So, anyway, we're trying to get it, guys. I'm just going to keep plugging away. But so far, pretty happy with the way it's turning out. It looks pretty cool on there. And it should provide the adjustability and everything that you would want with it. So, anyway, we're going to keep at it. All right, guys. So, thanks for following along with the video. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me here in the shop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump off now. Go up to the computer. Make a couple edits to the CAD file. Get some stuff reprinted. And then we'll come back again. This time around, we should have the block adapters right. Then we're going to have to weld some extensions onto those with some aluminum tubing. Um, to get up and clear the distributor and also the timing pointer setup that we made. So anyway, um, sub down below for that so you don't miss that. And we will catch you guys on the next one. God bless.